I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your weekly lightning session brought to you by the Bitcoin 2022 conference in Miami Beach, Florida, April 6th through 9th. You can grab your tickets now at b.tc slash conference and use code BTC Sessions for 10% off. This week, Pernicious Fluff on Twitter wants to know about backing up and restoring multi-sig wallets. Backing up your multi-sig wallet will create a descriptor file, aka a map to your vault. This map is created with bits of information from every key involved in the vault. If you lose this file, you will require every key involved in the setup to recreate the map. Let's see it in practice. Here we are with a multi-sig wallet in Sparrow that is set up with a cold card, passport, and keystone wallet. To export this wallet, we just hit export and we export the wallet file for Sparrow. I'll save it to the desktop and we get a file that looks like this. This is a backup of our map to our digital vault. Alternatively, if I wanted to export this for a different wallet interface like Spectre, I could go to Spectre desktop and export file there. And this just makes it compatible with other interfaces. The easiest way to recover a multi-sig wallet is to have the backup file, open wallet, go to my desktop and find that file that we had before, multi-sig demo, open, and it opens just as before you can see in the settings. And at this point, I would only need two of these devices or two of these keys to unlock and spend my funds. Here in Spectre Desktop, to recover a multi-sig wallet, we hit add new wallet, import from wallet software, we go and find that file, open it, hit continue, and then hit import wallet. At this point, I'll be able to see my balance and send and receive funds alongside my signing devices. If I no longer have access to my original wallet file, I can recreate the vault with all three signing devices like I did the first time around. I will now have my functioning multi-sig wallet back with the original balance that I can now send and receive with the signing devices.